guys, welcome back to the vlog. Obviously, it's your boy George. It's been a while since I've done like a sit down vlog and um, just yeah, talk about some stuff. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, hello, hi, hope you're good. Um, this is my lifestyle channel where I basically talk about all things that I find interesting fashion, traveling music sometimes we won't really delve into music just yet but um yeah welcome to the channel hope you enjoy uh i previously done one of these vlogs on well not a vlog done a review of the lambins and everyone liked that and then i thought maybe i should do a review of um denim and see how that goes uh but yeah sorry about the hat and doors uh Baba decided to take a whole, however long off, six, seven days off, and uh, I didn't get a memo, so I've been trying to get a trim. Obviously, I'm a bit grizzly and homeless. If you're new, I don't normally look like this. Most of the time, a bit more polished, but got to get the content out. I'm trying to get more content out weekly for you guys, so yeah. So let's talk denim. Um, I'm going to talk about basically silhouettes, uh, different styles of denim, different colours, different shapes, all that stuff. The new rise of, um, I think, I don't know the correct term for them, but custom denim, we'll call it anything custom, anything altered, anything done by basically a tailor, um, such as gallery department jeans, club dark sauvage, genius Bartier. I've actually got some Genius Bartier here that I can show you guys what altered denim looks like. Um, you know, flared out, extended hems, etc, etc. As well as the rise of double knees and I think how to find how to find a jean that basically suits your style and what you like. Right guys, so the first pair of denim is a staple. Levi 501s. As you can see, I picked them up in this nice, really washed out blue. I really like the colour on these ones. You know, they're one of my favourite pairs. Um, extended the hems, which we've shown here. So right at the bottom, I've extended these hems myself, just because that's the style I like. So that's what I've gone for. I think these are a staple in everyone's closet to be honest if you like 501s i just feel like these are super comfy um you can wear them all day if you're on the broader you know side of the scale i'd say for me i'm not necessarily skinny but i'm not big at the same time these might not actually be the as exaggerated a silhouette as you want like for me i you know i wouldn't say recently but i'm you know, I started to get a lot more into really baggy pants. So I'd say if you're in the middle, these might not be baggy enough for you if that's the silhouette that you're after. They're more of a straight fit, I'd say, personally. I think they're baggy on some people, but yeah, like I said, if you're in that middle spectrum, I don't think these will be baggy enough for you. And I've opted here to wear them with the um, Air Forces classic shoe as I think you know it's a shoe everyone has access to and I also feel like the more straight and or flat out and baggier that your pants get the more you kind of need a chunkier shoe to balance it out but then again it depends because I'd say Converse is my Chuck Taylor's also go really well with this style of jean like straight pants so it's up to you but those trainers are very easily accessible so you know your style your choice for me these are probably the two the two trainers that i'd wear with the most so yeah this is the first pair here we go right next pair another favorite of mine these are the 505s now i picked these up at dirty harry's in brighton um there was already kind of cut when I got them, but what I did to exaggerate it in order to get this kind of flared ruching type 
I don't know what you call it, but to get it like this is you get a needle or a um, toothpick and you pull out all the seams in order to create this kind of effect, as you can see here. And yeah, I love that effect. And that's why these are some of my favorite. And yeah, the perks of, I suppose, getting vintage denim is that you can just wear it all day and they're still comfy because they've been washed and worn so many times in, you know, before you, you know, some people find that gross. Others like their stuff exactly brand new, but I feel like there's definitely gems in terms of, you know, vintage denim. So this is the side view. This is the back view. Again, I'd probably wear this with a chunky shoe as it is a lot more loose and flared out. And yeah, I think 505s might be more flared out than 501s. They, they feel like they are anyway. But like I said, it's hard to tell because you know, they get washed. I don't know if this has shrunk before it's gotten to me or whatever, but it definitely feels a lot more loose than my uh, 501s. So yeah, 505 is definitely a model to watch if you want something a little bit more baggier, a little bit more, uh, you know, loose. Now this next pair is made by Genius Bar Artillery. I don't know if I said that right, but these are my favorite 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 pair of denims of the year as you can see they've been you know pulled out flared dramatically for me and extended and as well as the waist has been taken in and a few more adjustments these were made literally to my specification for me and that is the perks of you know shopping with them guys and getting an appointment in store i believe these were old car hearts and they've taken off i think they were double knees and they've taken this bit off which has left this lovely dye and yeah like i said they made their own little details to it and i just love it i wanted a pair of blue denim that was baggy that i feel comfortable in i was just nice and i feel like for me especially i don't know if you're a, people that are a bit taller um you know it's hard finding jeans that are actually very baggy on you you know I, i'm six foot three so um finding jeans vintage jeans in a 36 length maybe or 34 length is near on impossible and then when you do it costs you an arm and a leg and you just have to pay because you don't know when you're gonna find it again but um yeah i love this pair of denim um this is the same kind of style as you know for those that are american or those who know about it gallery department i'd say um similar to that so these are vintage these have been reworked beautifully um and then yeah we'll just get more into the cost and the process in just a second but yeah just take these in amazing 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 great pair of them they also made these for me guys these are i'm just going to show you these not wear these as they're for a client uh joe kapoku rugby player i sourced them for him these were custom made in his size um he's six foot five so getting getting denim or any pants made kind of in his size is near on impossible but these are a lovely khaki as you can see the dye on them is amazing double knees is what he wanted nice and baggy extended hems flared out of the side just going to show you some of the detail in here so the side has been flared out in order to give it a nice you know sit over the trainers nice and loose so it's really great details really and yeah like i said the dyeing process on these amazing 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 so this is from my guy uh genius by yeah this was from my friend joel joel if you're seeing this the denim is fire like this kind of made me feel like 
maybe I should get a pair of the car keys too. But anyway, that's the end of the denim. I've got a lot more, so obviously if you guys want me to explore other styles, let me know. And now let's get into, you know, the cost of making these and yeah. So let's talk about reworked denim, silhouettes and vintage denim. I uh, will start off with silhouettes. Um, as you guys know, there's loads of different silhouettes. There's skinny, stretch slim, slim, straight, boot cut. You get it. Um, my advice would be try a whole bunch of silhouettes and um, see which one you prefer and what kind of goes with what's in your wardrobe. So for me, I started off my journey when I was a lot younger with slim kind of skinny jeans slash stretchy skinny so um and those were really tight like really tight like if I had photos you guys would laugh like if I had photos yeah just wasn't yeah the side for my body type though I don't knock it I think for some body types skinnies look amazing that's the thing with different styles and learn your style like if I could pull it off the way some people do that have slimmer legs and stuff like that amazing um now i've kind of evolved more into i want really baggy exaggerated jeans which are harder to find in my size but that's why i prefer you know vintage denim because it just gives me a chance to find them and not for an arm and a leg so yeah silhouette wise i'd say you know try a variety of styles like try it loads of styles don't knock a style you know don't care if people say levi jeans man levi jeans boot cuts like find find the style that's suited to you you know um and then when you do buy a lot of it like so you can always have it in your rotation and yeah that's silhouette talk um i want to talk about rework denim so like gallery department like the genius bartier ones that i've shown you i think there's club dark sauvage as well and a, a lot of places are starting to do these um but yeah i think hmm rework denim it's amazing i'm really happy with my pair and um some of the ones i see online phenomenal amazing whatever you call it yeah they're great I personally am like a bit, I don't know, disappointed almost that um, gallery department as, are as expensive as they are for, you know, the fact that they're reworked. I get it, it's art, um, you know, I'm all for it. I don't want to knock, you know, the designers and the creators. Like, I get that, you know, it's still a lot of creative process into it um and you know i think that's great and it's clearly worked because you put it out quality denim but personally i think 600 pounds 700 pounds for a pair of reworked denim that are vintage is you know it's steep but then at the same time looking into it if you was to buy multiple pairs of denims and get a tailor to try and basically do the same thing Taylor would charge you probably in you know a couple hundreds maybe if you're lucky maybe not as much but a tailor would still charge you like quite a bit there's a lot of work in order to get it how they are so um I don't knock the price I just think that price is extremely inflated but you know each to their own if you if you got the one spend it hey if I had the money probably i get a lot more but saying that i think the guys there are probably places in your area or places in cities that are nearer to you guys that probably do do similar denim to this like i've said it's very popularized at the moment um and there's a lot of great like great designers doing it and great creatives doing it that are you know local that you could probably bring denim to and they might be able to do the same thing i'm blessed enough to live near the city of London so I got an appointment and had mine made for me and as well as a client and that was an amazing feeling to have stuff tailored for you it's always amazing when you get stuff tailored to exactly how you like it and exactly what you want um I'm not gonna lie I didn't pay it wasn't cheap it wasn't 
as cheap as just getting vintage denim. It was a bit more on the pricier range, but was it worth it? Yes. Would I do it again? Probably. Do I have to save to do it again? Yes. But yeah, it was worth it. Um, but like I said, if you get vintage denim, there's a lot of stuff you can do yourself, such as extending the hems, flaring it, dyeing it. There's a lot of stuff you can do yourself when you get vintage denim. And the perks are some places like that I go to are selling Levi's for £10, £11. Like, then you can, you know, come home with that piece of denim, do whatever you want with it, use it as a project. And at the end of the day, I'm not saying that you don't care as much, but it didn't cost you as much in order to explore a style or maybe um, to try doing your own DIYs of these things. So I'd say... That is one of the perks of buying, um, you know, vintage as well as, you know, helping the planet, sustainability and, you know, all the cost it takes to actually create denim. But we won't go into that, but you'll be helping the planet also. But yeah, you know, vintage denim, explore silhouettes. And yeah, if you've got a bit of money and you want to try something new, try some of these tailors like Genius Bartier. You know, I, I can only say good things about them. I had great service and yeah, those are my guys right there. It was amazing. Um, Yeah. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hope it was uh, entertaining for you. I try to keep this as entertaining as possible. And uh, I hope to be putting out more like this on a regular, regular basis, like weekly basis. So if you guys want me to cover like jackets or other denim pieces or just anything like comment down below what you enjoyed uh and what you want to see more of and i'll be sure to show you that peace love take it easy